Yeah, guys, here we go. Welcome to Dora. Um, welcome to Inspiration Just with Dora. In this series, I'll be reviewing the epis, the podcast, The Accidental Mother. It's a very interesting story of love, jealousy, and most importantly, the lesson I want to point our attention to the root of this whole story, the root of this whole tragedy. We like all the tragedy or the turnaround, the turnout of events in this lady's life, in this girl's life. The main character in this video or in this story is Danny. Danny got herself into um, a situation, a very unpleasant situation caused by jealousy which was provoked by her stepsister. Mm. That is what you find in a polygamous home. Let me introduce you to the story. The story of the accidental mother, a young girl who accidentally got pregnant. The very first day she was to turn 19, she got herself entangled with a man she knew from nowhere. In fact, this story is so touchy to me and that's why I want to share my lessons from this podcast, okay? I'm going to allow you to have a feel of what happened and I will come back to say what I have to say. Remember, in this series, we are bringing out life lessons. Because sometimes when we listen to these stories, we so get entertained, feel this and that, but we don't actually take time to think about one or two things we need to draw from these uh, entertainment stories, okay? So, today, let me introduce you to the accidental mother. The Over Her Shoulders. Episode 1. The Most Beautiful in Michael Town. Michael Town. In an expensive and luxurious presidential suite, a slim figure lay sprawled across the lavish bed. The black evening gown she was wearing was almost completely torn apart, revealing soft, delicate skin that was as white as snow. A woman's long black hair fell lightly over her shoulders, the contrast making her thin shoulders appear translucent like the finest jade. A figure stood by the bed, pushing the young lady's soft black hair away, revealing a face with exquisite features. Her lips that were pink like opening cherry blossoms. Hot. It's so hot. Very good. The person by the bed snorted contemptuously, then took out a cell phone as they walked out while making a call. Are you arriving soon? She's in room number 2608. The effect of the medicine is starting to kick in. You can have your way with her the moment you come up. Remember to take some racy photos for me once you're done. Don't worry. This little sister of mine is still a virgin and is Michaeltown's youngest beauty with looks that can kill everybody. You're very lucky this time. The door to the suite closed. The person on the phone had not noticed that the thick, curled lashes of the girl on the bed had already fluttered open. Monica Green, the burden that Daniela Green's stepmother had brought along with her when she married into the Green family. Did you hear that? Monica Green, the girl that the, 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 the Green mother, the woman brought into the Green family when she had married. This woman got into the family in fact, she actually knew when when you listen to the story later in the uh, in the whole story, you will discover how she came into the family. Okay, and she brought this girl. So she came as a strange woman into the family. She already had a child, and when she came, you can from the description, Daniela is a very beautiful girl, loved by her father. And what they're trying to do today is to destroy her reputation so that the father will hate her so much on her 19th birthday these are things you can find 
in polygamous homes whether you want to take it or leave it this story is not african based of course as you can hear it is not african based so even the west when they have finally you know preach against polygamy is because of the destruction polygamy has brought to different societies that have practiced it in the past i leave you to leave your own comment your own everybody is free to their own opinion you can air your own opinion in the comment section but in this series you're going to discover a lot of things that jealousy can cause in a family let's continue she was older than daniela by half a year and was usually quiet she mostly kept to herself it was completely unexpected that she would drug daniela during her 19th birthday party daniela supported her weakened body as she got up from the bed a stream of unfamiliar heat burned throughout her body she licked her dry lips and ran out shakily she could not let monica's plan succeed the elevator suddenly sounded when daniela was still deciding which direction to run to she immediately tensed it was probably that person that monica had arranged to come daniela quickly ran in the opposite direction that person saw her the moment he walked out of the elevator and shouted loudly stop there don't run daniela did not know how long she ran for it felt like an eternity she was exhausted and leaned against a door dizzily as the person that was chasing her appeared to be turning the corner of the corridor she was in the medicine was starting to get stronger she no longer had the energy to run any further with both her legs having lost all their strength would she really not be able to escape at this moment daniela realized that the door she had been leaning on was not closed properly it opened with just a slight push so that's how she finally ex escaped but she's still going to get herself into trouble this night i won't play the whole thing but i'm just going to summarize what happened okay so after she entered that room there was also someone in that room and um, incidentally or coincidentally finally finally what monica planned for her happened she has been keeping herself as a virgin but this night because of the effect of the drug she was drugged she met somebody on that on the bed in that room and one thing led to the other it finally happened so they succeeded in having her virginity taken away from her on her 19th birthday however it wasn't by the person the way they planned it okay so the man had yet to finish speaking when soft lips bit into the tip of his nose a fragrance that could only have belonged to the girl suddenly flooded all of his senses his every muscle instantly tensed up daniela did not know what had come over her what was she saying and what was she doing she did not feel like herself she straddled herself on top of the man's flat abdomen then followed her instincts pressing her red lips against his without so that's how due to the effect of the drug she was actually the one that took the initiative and then uh, wanting wanting the man himself was also not himself i think he's, he, he was drunk or he was not feeling so well and before you know it, the, everything happened the way it happened. Before she realized it, it was too late. And to have a mind of their own and moved lower instinctively. It was painful. It was so painful. That was at the point she lost what she has been keeping for a very, you know, particular day in her life. And so this is where I'm going to drop this one just to introduce this episode is just to introduce you to this very, I said, interesting and uh, informative story of jealousy, ambition, and, um, and all 
hot tempered and so on and so on. In fact, I'm just going to allow you to have it. Um, in fact, I will just allow you to discover this episode in the next video. Okay, we're going to see more of these stories. But one thing I want you to bear in mind while I'm bringing this story here, I'm not the person that wrote it, please. Um, this story is on podcast. I am just here to review it and in my usual manner, bring out life lessons from this um, episode, from this very interesting story. Today, again, we saw Daniela being ganged up by his, her sister and brother. And then, why? Because she's very beautiful, all eyes are on her, and everybody will not look at Monica if Daniela is there. That is a real life story. This is what happens in reality, and especially in the polygamous home. So I'll see you guys again in the next part coming your way very soon.